All right, so here's an interesting one. It's a 360 of an airplane. The request is to make it a 150 by 100 by 60 and click on OK. Now you have to remember that with a plane, you can actually orientate this crystal to be a 60 on the tall and 100 deep. OK, so let me show you how that would look if we go 150 wide, 60 high and 100 deep. Now your crystal is actually like this. OK, and this now will enable you to rotate the model. We'll take a top view and rotate the model. Now remember, you wanna kinda of keep it on an angle so that you can maximize the size in the crystal. If I just keep it like this, the wingspan is gonna max out over here, okay? And the size of my plane will be about that. Now, if, however, I rotate this, I actually have more room and I can make my plane a little bigger. I'll have to do it manually, because you can see that the markers are treating this like a, a square or a rectangle. So we'll do it manually, but still we can actually get it bigger than before. Go on front. And the other thing I might wanna do is also rotate. Go back to the top view. I feel I can make this even larger. All right, now the question, when it comes to creating the point cloud. First and foremost, I want to make this grayscale. So I'm going to click here and we always leave kind of this end unless you've really requested optimization. It's always better to, for 360 at least, have the flexibility to adjust this yourself. So you can see the different parts of the plane here. We will convert it to grayscale and we can use our curves to brighten this. Something like that. Just going to merge this. File, save as, and save. It just saves the texture file in a temp folder. And now we refresh. And we've got the texture the way that we want it. I'm just gonna quickly save this. And now I'm going to create my point cloud. So if I click on go, um, I think the last project I worked on was projection or portrait. So you can see it's cutting the wing off because it's only creating points for what it can see on projection. So what you want to do is you want to go X-ray. Uh, we want it best from the frontal direction. I might make this about me, call it six layers, Z factor five. And I might make this here a little spaced out. I have to try it. There's no real right answer to this, but we have to try it. So, and now you can see it's quite bright, but it's a little too saturated. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to play around with this a bit. I'm going to reduce my layers, Let's make it four layers. I'm going to go and see what that looks like. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to work with projection mode. So this is using X-ray, but X-ray is kind of giving the same power to both sides, the front and the back. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try projection. Let's take a look here. I think projection might look better. Projection to let's see it from the front first. Okay. Yeah. That's quite sharp from the front. Of course, the back is missing. So what we can do is I can go to projection. I will turn on back. I'll just keep it one layer because I don't want the back to be as powerful as the front. I'm going to enable it. Save. OK, click on go. You can see it's filling it up now, right? And what I might do is maybe just make it two layers for the back just to make it a little bit more powerful. So two layers. Okay. I just increased my Z factor so it doesn't crack. Yeah, that's better. And I don't think there's anything really further that's necessary. I think that's good. If I wanted, I could cast some points from the top. So if I go projection and I go top, maybe one layer is good enough. Save, okay, click on go. Hard to tell. Edit geometry, top. Oh, it's not enabled, that's why. Save, okay. Let's try that again. Watch the wing here. It's trying to fill that up a little bit. So, I mean, it increased everything from the top layer by a bit, and that looks nice and clean to me. You get your sharpest view on the call letters and on the word police from your frontal view. As you rotate it, it will start to fuzz out. So this here is, again, optimal from the front. Usually with 360, that's the way it is. You have to choose your 
ideal perspective where do you want people to be looking at the crystal from for first and foremost that's what you kind of decide and that's how you're going to generate your most ideal perspective so we're going to save this now again depending on the laser you're using this might crack so you might need to increase your 0.1 to 0.2 i already used five here so that's good i think really if this was going to crack your best bet is just to increase your z layer distance and that should do the trick. Yeah, I think this here looks great.